welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map maker and welcome back to this island what we are making. We've currently got the largest wreck we could get our hands on, stuffed it into the beach of the default island that the game gave us and then started adding trees and rocks and various bits and pieces uh, in order to make this a place that you would want to come and have margaritas and maybe Mai Tais, maybe even Italian, John. Oh, no one's going to get that reference. Well, it was Farscape, so don't worry about that. Um, we have rock arches. We have little tree islands on the beach. We have oh, the bow of a ship, apparently. Um, yeah, we've got a lot going on, and it's kind of simple, but also kind of very, very detailed. Um, we have the tiny little island out to sea. We have the wreck itself. We also have... Bloop, underwater some sort of underwater tragedy where this boat may have actually taken out another boat but 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 last time we were working on the center of the island this river here which counts straight into uh, into the main body of the island now it's not that big it's not that deep we can fix that afterwards but 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 uh, we started making this sort of um, bowl this little caldera this little thing uh, that we've got going on and it goes down to a beach and it is very mm, beachy um, it's kind of shelving here and there's a there's a bit of a shelf thing going on and then it's not very sh not very deep underneath it's very shallow so we're going to need to make that deep but also make sure that we don't end up with big old triangles we mess around with a mesh um, and make sure that the player can't get in themselves into a situation where they get stuck on geometry or they leap off something and they break their ankles and they're all upset with us because we've made a terrible map so if you're joining us for the first time uh, we are using the controls w s a and d to move forward back left and right we're using q to go down e to go up we're holding the right mouse button to pan the camera hmm. If we click uh, we've got object selected so if we've got an object selected and if I can select something that's a little bit less um, unforgiving we can press R to rotate we can press T to transform we can press C to clone uh, we can press delete to delete and if we have something selected and we look away we can press F to focus it's basically everything you need we're going to click on terrain and then objects to make sure we have nothing selected and we don't accidentally move something around that we're not looking at we accidentally delete something we're not looking at and we're going to step to work here we need a forest we need some woods we need something spicy on the inside of the island because because we we sort of started with a boat we started with a boat and then we rammed it onto the beach. We uh, we made sure that the boat's bow had an effect on the beach itself. So it's kind of dug into, uh, into the sand using the action of tide and time, which is nice. But, but, but the inside of the island, um, apart from this kind of rock structure, which you can climb up to get to the, the heart of the island itself, there's nothing here. We need to make it, well, we need to make it shiny and happy. So what we're going to do is focus on this area. Uh, we can start throwing trees in. That's something I kind of want to try. So we have a limited amount of pine trees. Obviously, if you want if you want a forest, you need pine trees. Uh, we have a limited amount of them. Uh, we got pine one, pine two, and pine three. They're different size. Pine one is pine one, then a pine two, and then a pine three. And there we go. Weirdly, Pine 2 is the biggest of the three. So if you ever wanted to know, now you know. Uh, we're going to delete those. We're actually going to click the little the little icon bottom right is a bin with a cube going into it, if you didn't know what that was all about. It's kind of a weird little icon. Not entirely sure why that's there, but it's there. So we can either use Pine 1. So in the map editor, map maker, map creator, map world, cartographer, whatever you want to call it, uh, the only trees that you can make lay down lay down tree is the pine are oh, the pines you can't do that with the palms the palms although in the game you can make them uh you can see them at different angles you can only rotate the palms in the map editor which is kind of a weird thing now can we have a pine tree as a bridge i don't quite know because i don't know of these branches i think the branches are not actually um a part of a collision model so what we need to do is we need to make sure we've got T selected. And what I want is, well, this is going to be tricky. This is this is where it becomes very, very tricky because I want the tree to look like it's fallen over. 
So it's a bridge across the water. But then we're going to have to do, we're going to have to bury all of these um, sprites, these, these branch sprites. Oh, is that going to be too big? Well, we can get rid of that. We can try a different tree. We can try, let's scroll back down. So that was pine two. Pine one, is that going to be too small? Well, let's take pine one, pine three as candidates for crazy town. Uh, pine three is kind of narrow. I like pine three. It's um, kind of a bit of a, bit of a spicy boy there. Right, um, let's lay that over and see what happens. That's much better in terms of size. Uh, what we want to do is kind of drop that down a bit. Now we can have this at a weird angle. Right. Is that going to work? Hmm, not entirely sure. That's the smaller of the two. Let's get rid of you. Candidate number three. Is the porridge too hot, too cold, or is it just right? It is. E uh, hmm. I think the porridge is kind of a little bit off. I think pine two is the best bet for this. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is grab that, rock it over, because the first first section uh, doesn't have um, as many branch pieces. So we want it clear, because when people look down here, we want people to, to see the sea. It's like, I want to see the sea. That's exactly what people want. They're like, I don't want to see nothing. Nothing, nothing, tra-la-la. -la. Um, okay, so we need to do this in a clever and cunning way, which is going to confound and amuse and astonish people forevermore. Uh, is this astounding, astonishing, or confusing? No, it kind of drops in there. We can rotate it, see if we've got a, a better branch structure. Not really. Um, press T, let's pull that across a bit more. That works better like that, I think. Uh, we might need to put it the other way though. So we've got, I mean, two thirds of that. Let's try it the other way around. So this is basically, this is basically everything you're gonna be doing. Uh, press T, unless you lose it under the island mesh, in which case, GG. Right, we could, could technically get it this way. Press R, uh, using Q to go down. Uh, we're going to need to move this up, so grab the blue toggle. Uh, press R to rotate, rotate that into the island mesh. Uh, works a little bit better, works a little bit better. E to go up. Right, so we've got this, got this here that we don't want. We've got, the trouble is with a lot of 3D objects, the, the base of it is going to be open, so we're going to need to hide that. That's actually a good, um, a good position there. So we've got all of these sprites here. So leaves on trees tend to be sprites rather than um, like polygons. Uh, I'm going to use green, then we'll take blue, move it over. Uh, what we're going to do is make it look like it's sort of nestling in the rocks on one side and kind of buried into the world on the other side. Yep. So what I don't want it to do is peek through the world. No, okay. This is very, very tricksy. Very tricksy sort of fine manipulation and then when you get into the game you realize the uh, the level of detail on the model is actually greater and you've actually blocked all of this off with leaves so we have the wooden uh, main wooden trunk some leaves but not too many right we're gonna have to fix this here we have two ways of fixing this we can go to terrain and we can click on raise and lower make sure the amount slider is down amount slider is inherited so if i put it here click on any of these other objects uh, any of these other brushes the amount slider remains the same don't want that that's going to be devastating so uh, we'll change the size of the brush down make sure the amount slider is fairly low uh bigger than that and then that's a little bit yeah okay cool so about there so we're going to get have to get creative with this let's pull it up so most of the sprites are hidden sometimes i mean we might be able to get away with this as well if the um if the scrubby brush it doesn't it looks like baby pine trees or whatever so we could put like baby pine trees in uh scrubby brush and whatever but it's cool excellent i'm um, gonna have to smooth that so size is okay the amount can go up quite a lot with the smoothing tool and then immediately all of our work disappears don't worry about that it's gonna 
it's going to be a theme. The Mount Slider comes back down because otherwise we'll end up with a peak the size of Mount Everest and we don't want that because we would be sad. And then we bring that up. I don't think we really need to bury all of all of the all the branchy bits, the branchy branch boys. Uh, but we're gonna, gonna have a good go anyway. Uh, we want a nice gentle slope down here. We're gonna get a nice gentle slope, so we've got an idea on how to deal with that. Make the size of this brush bigger. Smooth that peak off there. All right. There's a bit of bit of pine tree showing through, but I don't really mind that. I think that'd be fine. Okay, objects. Oh no, what's going to happen? Are we going to go into the rocks menu? We are going into the rocks menu. Uh, we're going to grab big rocks. Okay, well, I, I mean, if, if you say so, uh, I do say so. I do indeed say so. Uh, I'm going to hit rotate to R to rotate. Um, this is <laughs> this is tricksy, isn't it? Very, very tricksy because we want to get down to there. But we also want to hide as much as we can, but we also want to make it accessible. It's not... I mean, we are basically beyond the vision of the designers of the game at this point. It's... Um, yeah, nobody was thinking this is going to happen when they were coming up with the map editor. Right, so we'll bring that out there. We're going to think, we're going to think with portals, basically. So I want that to be out. The trouble is, uh, in a 3D space, you also have to move the camera around. We're going to hit C to clone that. Bring that forward. And bring that down. We might just have to have stuff clipping through. It's just not going to... It's just not going to... Um, it's not going to be possible to not have it like that. Uh, bring that out a bit. Along there. Yeah, that kind of works. That works quite well. So the, the player can get to the end of here and then everybody hop over. Thinking this is going to work. If it doesn't work, we've got other things that we can do. Small Rock 1. Of course, Small Rock 1. Hello, Small Rock 1. I like you a lot. Will you be my Small Rock today? Um, excellent. So we're going to push that back. So we're using R and T, R to rotate. Uh, R to rotate to T to transform. So transform is just sliding stuff around. Uh, we can hit C to clone. And we're going to use the red toggle, the green toggle, and the blue toggle, which of course change directions depending on where the camera is. So we're making a little staircase based on this rock. And it is a good rock to use for a staircase. Um, T. We're just rotating it around so that we don't have the same geometry repeated over and over again because otherwise it looks a little bit a little bit obvious. So we're gonna try and try and mask as much of that as possible. Um, it's not gonna be completely possible, but it's you know. I uh, would go back to the terrain brush, go back to rays, make sure the amount is kind of low, drag the size down, and then just raise that up in here. There we go. Because now we don't need the player to be able to uh, mantle down there. We just need to raise this up here in line with this rock. Excellent. Well, uh, that seems to be in order. Or as the Germans would say, in ordnung. I think. Um, maybe. So we'll just brush that back with the smooth tool. There we go. What was a little bit spicy has now turned into something that's a lot less spicy. There is definitely a staircase down there if for the people who are adventurous types and want to find it. The people who wear Lova shoes, the people who, well, you know, like the sort of thing where you run across a tree trunk. Um, we have a big old, big old problem here though, where we're going to be... Uh, uh, changing the size of the brush down we make it double checking eyeballing the amount slider every time because if you don't you will end up with a spire and then you will not be able to deal with it you'll be like i cannot deal with the spire of dirt what is going on with my life um what we're going to do is raise this up uh we are raising it up we actually got the so we're taking the brush we're moving it over to the edge here i'm just holding the left mouse button because i want that this uh these polygons to come up I want these polygons, well we can flatten those off in a minute. These polygons are actually inside the cleft. If I take the camera and put it inside the cleft, you can kind of see what's going on. The island meshes all the way down here inside the cleft itself. So by holding it, holding the brush there, we just raise and land up uh, inside the cleft very, very steeply. 
Ah, but the texture is all stretched. I know. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, we're going to smooth that off. With the smoothing tool. Ooh, it's less crazy. I know, crazy, isn't it? Um, Alright, cool. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing here. So, again, it's it's kind of trying to use finesse in, an, uh, in a map editor that doesn't really reward finesse or is designed to deal with finesse. It's kind of, it's a curious one. So, it's a feature that I want and we're going to have to work to get it. So again, we're pulling pulling the dirt out into the cliff edge, uh, but because the cliff is there, that's cliff six, we're kind of hiding it all, um, hiding it all inside the geometry of the cliff. Now we can pull that back using the smooth, smooth tool. Right. Well, it's less, it's less uh, scary than it was. Is it the smooth tool? No, that's set height. What am I doing? That's witchcraft. You should have told me. Um, okay, so the smooth tool is smooth height. And yeah, that's kind of erased everything. Well, we can use the set, set height tool. Uh, click on that and just bring everything up. So you sample an area where you want the height to be set to, and then bring it all up. Bring it all up. That's fine. Bring it all up like yesterday's ham. Uh, right, IT crab. It's a reference. It's a reference. Okay, so we brought that up. It's now a bit more dirty there. But that cleft there is all dropped down. So we're going to have to go back to objects. We're going to have to go back to rocks. Oh no, but I want some dirt there. So we're going to have Big Rock 1, because Big Rock 1 is quite a, a decent size and decent shape. Uh, that's not what I want. I want the green toggle. Boom. So yeah, if we if we rotate this stuff around, then the toggle d directions actually change as well. Uh, that side is a good side. T to transform. Red toggle. Blue toggle. Green toggle. Wait. Red fish, yellow fish. Hmm. Uh, we can go up a little bit. There we go. So we've added to the top of the cliff. We got rid of some of the green texture, but we've kind of blended our rock in with the top of the cliff. That's excellent. I don't have a problem with that so much. This might be a problem here, though. So go back to the terrain brush. Do we? I mean, do we want terrain to be touching the bottom of the tree? I don't think we're going to be able to get away with that. I think objects, and I think we're going to have to put a rock there. Small rock three. Are you? Are you my rock tonight? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Right to rotate. Green toggle. Uh, red toggle. E to transform. Green toggle down, and then blue toggle back a little bit. I think we're just going to have to roll with what we got. I think we're just going to have to roll with it. Um. Just want the. So what I'm doing is I'm moving this in, but I'm looking at this very, very end of this uh, tree geometry. As soon as it disappears, boom. Uh, we're going to have to fudge this with some like foliage and things. So uh, I'm going to click on terrain and objects. So what we now have is a tree, which is laying down. You can't see the bottom of the geometry of the tree, which is all open. Uh, the branches are kind of in the way. We've got some rocks here that kind of suggest that you could actually go all the way to the end and then hop up here. We can check the size of that by clicking on objects, by clicking on structures and getting a door. Boom, the door. Well, it, it, does, it does follow the geometry of the tree, sort of. Um, but yeah, that's that's big enough. A player is going to be able to get up there, no problem. No problem whatsoever. So we'll, we won't put the door into the world. Excellent. Uh, now, we can, now we can mess around with stuff here. So let's do that. I want, I want foliage. Oh, foliage. Oh, an aloe vera plant. That's kind of a decent thing. Or we could go with a ficus because of the water. Why don't we do that? Uh, P Q R F. Ficus tree. Ficus tree. Hmm. We need. We need. Oh. Uh, not that. Ficus tree three. What? What? I wish they would sort out ficus icons. Well, that's a, is it ficus tree 2? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it is. Yep, ficus tree icons. Oh, I'm being given a seizure by a tree. That's unfortunate. So I'm going to move that to there. So now it's here. Why are we doing that? Well, because we have a tree over here that kind of indicates the fact that we've got a way down. Oh, so why don't we repeat that over here? Ah, yes, I thought that would be amusing. I thought that would be entertaining, the oohs and the ahs. 
all of the things. Um, we can move this back, forward, forward, back, 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 forward, forward. There we go. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Actually, I don't mind that at all. Um, we have the branch that goes over the top of where the path could be. Um, we could we can mirror that actually, uh, so we could throw a yucca in. Uh, we click on terrain and objects. Throw the yucca in here. Why would we do that? Well, why would we not? So we do that, and then press T to transform, lower it into the ground, and then just push it back towards these rocks. Hmm. There we go. So we have the yucca. Now, um, I'll to rotate again. Just so the tr uh, all plants should be either facing upright because you know they're reaching towards the sun or they should be uh, facing away from another plant so facing away from shade because that's how that works all right that's kind of okay is it not are we not entertained well not really okay cool i see the problem here so we're gonna need another rock mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. small rock one i think so I think small rock one is going to be necessary here for two reasons. First of all, uh, we can let go of it and grab the blue toggle and put it up. Oh no, close to the center of rotation. It behaves weirdly. Uh, press T to transform, grab the red toggle, blue toggle, uh, rotate, rotate, green toggle. I want to stand it up on its end. In fact, which end is the best? Mm, I mean, that's fine. So we press T, just put that down, pull that out. Why are you doing this? Because uh, by putting that there, oh, it, we've just snapped over to the yucca behind it. Got to keep an eye on that. That's why we keep clicking terrain and objects because otherwise things snap and it's not very good. Um, we know that we can use verticals and uprights and hard lines to guide players. So psychologically, we are manipulating their brains. So, hard line. There we go. It kind of looks like a, a, a style in a country. You know, the, the little fence that goes over a fence? If you didn't know to look for it, that's what you're looking for. So, excellent. We can just jet through there. And on the way back. See? It looks kind of like a little country style. It leads you over, and then you've got the steps up on the other side. And bingo, 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 bingo. Uh, we can even re replicate that on this side. Uh, we can do that. Uh, what was it? The other way around, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, bring it up with the red toggle. Press R to rotate. And get that hard 90 degree angle. T to transform. Pull uh, green across. Blue in a little bit. Rotate, rotate a little bit. No. So we'll click on terrain and objects. So we deselect that. And now we've got these two two little stones which indicate super, super psychologically uh, that there is perhaps even a path there. Excellent. One other thing. Um, it's just this bit here. We need some sort of platform under there. So we'll hit terrain and objects because we got something selected. We don't want anything selected. Uh, we are going to go to, in fact, why don't we use a small rock? Small rock three. Hello, you have become the chosen one because you are big and flat. And there we go. So we're going to hit T to transform a little bit and just kind of add, add a, a jumping off point for players. There we go. So it's a bit more, uh, a bit more obvious that you can jump up there hopefully oh yeah we we needed the height for that uh hopefully that's okay so we'll we'll see you might be able to just jump up on the rock and over um but that's fine so we've we've done a lot of work on a very small small detail really it's it's just a tiny little detail it's a tree that's fallen over this waterway uh we do need to make that deeper like a lot deeper mm. I kind of want to do that now, but I also kind of want to get some trees in so that we know what we're dealing with. Uh, let's do that. Let's just do it. Let's grab the trees. So we use one pine tree, one pine tree to do that. And a yucca, some rocks and bits and pieces. And we've created something that I've wanted to do for a while. 
gonna be honest, gonna be honest. So we're gonna grab the pines. Now, we are gonna start putting them down. In the world. In the world. So we'll put that down, hit rut to rotate, do a little rotate. Uh, another one here. I think I will put the big ones down here and then move up to the small ones on the top. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Rotor rotate, T transform, because we don't want all of these facing the same direction in terms of the, the, the models looking the same. It, it would just be a bit weird. We've already used one uh, pine tree. So we'll do that. Rotor rotate, boom. Just a little rotate. Just a little rotate. We can even change its position slightly in terms of uh, in terms of angle now we have something selected under the world what is that select oh, it's a cliff so we'll hit terrain and objects just to deselect the cliff uh pine two how many pines can we actually get out pine two oh we can only have five pines i think we can actually break it by clicking off, off pine two, clicking back on pine two and getting six pines. And then you can't do that again. It's it's, it's a hard limit. It's six. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to go back to pine two and we're going to drag it. And I'm going to drag it to... Where should we drag it to? Here? Kind of feels, kind of feels nice here, actually. Uh, or maybe even here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Here, here, here feels good. So making sure it's in the ground, so we hit, we hit T to transform because when we when we put it in the world normally, it sits quite high up, and that's when you get floating trees. So we're going to make sure the tree is actually in the world. Press rut to rotate, give it a spin, and then just make sure all of the other trees whoop, are actually in the world itself. So yep, that one is, that one is, and that one is excellent. So we got some trees in terrain and objects. Mm, yes. Please, so pine tree. Uh, I think we, we want to leave some space, don't we? Some space that people. So we want a forest, but we also want to leave some space so that people can do people things like build stuff. Rotate. Uh, one. I'm we'll going to do the same thing here. So T, put it in the ground. Then rotate. Uh, we can do the same thing up here. So T and rut rotate, just give it a spin. Excellent. How many trees have we got so far? Quite a few. Quite a few. Um, put that in. Where does it feel right? There. So even though these two trees are the same, because of the height of the ground, give it a spin and then just jam it in the ground a little bit more. Because of the height of the ground, one's lower than the other. Wait, what? What witchcraft is this? It is. The best kind of witchcraft. Well, not really. It's reserved for other things. Right, so rotate, spin, maximum, maximum reach. So we've got five trees. We've got ten trees. Well, nine including the one that's fallen over. Pine tree three. Hello. Oh, we've got something selected. Objects. Uh, okay, the terrain then objects. That means we can dra 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 drag, drag, drag. You can go in. There we go. Just double check and make sure you are in fact in the ground. Uh, click off and back on objects. I'm going to leave this area over here just kind of free um, of stuff so it can be, can in fact be, uh, give it a spin, T, drop it in, um, so it can be used for building um, whoop, over here. So into the world, ra, spin. Um, I think this area in here is kind of open, so T. E. Into the world, ruh, spin. How many more can we do? I think we probably want one more. So out here maybe? Yeah, that's it. That's it for the trees. So T, down, ruh, spin. Excellent. Oh, look at that. It's suddenly a forest. Well, wood. Well, a copse. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely a lot different to how it was at the beginning of the episode. We have uh, what we were always going to do. The, uh, the caldera has now been filled with trees. There are more trees on one side than the other. It's a fair old space there if you want to stick a building in. Um, yeah, and then that's still a, quite a big area. I think I think certain areas like maybe, maybe out here are going to be easier. But 
hey, it's stuff for people to run, jump and play in. So I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We'll leave it there for the time being. So, uh, if you're liking this, definitely definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe, and if you do hit subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. And I tell you what, I'll catch you next time.